Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. In today's video, we are going to talk about the relationship between vitamin D and pain. Vitamin D has an indirect connection with your pain. If you who are someone who experiences pain on a regular basis, definitely there are a high chance that you are deficient in vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is an hormone. It is something that breaks down when it's exposed inside the body by breaking down of cholesterol. This vitamin D is super important as it helps in formation of a very important compound in our body which is called as calcitriol. This calcitriol is only formed in our body if we have enough amount of vitamin D in our body. Mostly people who are about 30 years of age are deficient in vitamin D levels and that's why they are more prone to develop pains of different types and that's the reason it's important to have some sort of exposure or some sort of supplementation to vitamin D. Now what should be the ideal amount of vitamin D in your body? What is the amount which is excess of vitamin D in your body which should not be there as it could lead to a lot of other complications and what will happen if good amount of vitamin D is exposed in our body. We are going to discuss all of that in today's video. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Friends, vitamin D is a very crucial vitamin in our body and based on different age group, we require it in a different form. If your kid who is between 0 to 12 months of age, he would require vitamin D of 10 micrograms or else 400 international units. People with 1 year to 70 years of age will require 15 micrograms or 600 international units of vitamin D in the body. People who are more than 70 years of age will require 70 micrograms or 800 international units of vitamin D in their body. And if a woman is lactating at that time, she requires 15 microgram or 600 international units of vitamin D in her body. But why do we need this vitamin D? Vitamin D, as I mentioned, is a very important hormone. When a person is exposed or else is given vitamin D, it mixes or else breaks down the cholesterol that's present in the body. When this cholesterol is broken down, it is transformed into 25-hydroxy vitamin D compound, which happens in the liver of the body. And then is transformed into 125-dihydroxy vitamin D, which is also called as calcitriol. Calcitriol is an active form of vitamin D in our body. Vitamin D's biggest source is the sun rays. Sun rays exposure, which should be done for almost 15 to 20 minutes, three times in a week during the morning hours in India. And during the noon hours, if you are staying in some western country like USA or Canada, is enough to get the normal amount of vitamin D in the body. But people who live in the denser areas where the sunlight exposure is not much, it's difficult to get good amount of vitamin D through the natural sources. And that's why vitamin D can also be taken through the form of some dietary supplements. Dietary supplements that are rich in vitamin D are non-vegetarian sources like fish, cod liver oil, as well as some dairy products. But there are very few, but there are very few plant sources which are rich in vitamin D. And that's why people who are vegan or as vegetarians are at risk of developing vitamin D deficiency. And then they require some supplements which are prescription supplements. Mostly vitamin D supplements are of two types, D2 and D3. D2 supplements are the ones which are made from plant sources and D3 supplements are made from the animal sources. And that's why when it comes to effectiveness, supplements are much more effective than D2 supplements. Depending on what's your level of vitamin D, your doctor will prescribe you the vitamin D supplements. It's ideal that vitamin D should be only taken as much as your body needs because if vitamin D is taken in excess, it leads to vitamin D toxicity, which could be the cause of other neurological disorders like depression, anxiety, Alzheimer's. Sometimes it could be the reason for heart disease as well. 
which is not a good sign and that's why it's not ideal to take just vitamin D supplements without a blood exam. The maximum safer unit of vitamin D supplements that you can take per day is 4000 international unit. If you take something which is excess than 4000 international unit, then it would lead to vitamin D toxicity in your body. Now, what is the relationship of vitamin D with your pain? Vitamin D supplements has no direct correlation with your pain. If you take vitamin D supplements, it will not lead to reduction of pain and it will not act as your painkiller. But it has been found in many research that people who take vitamin D supplements or else people who are deficient in vitamin D are much more prone to develop pains during, throughout the body. Pains that are commonly present in people are due to arthritic changes, are due to muscular trigger points, muscle spasm and inflammation around the joints. All of these things can be prevented by taking good amount of vitamin D supplements. The reason why vitamin D is effective in reducing the pain chances is because the calcitriol has a very multifunctional role in the body. Calcitriol is responsible for absorption of calcium in the bone. Calcitriol is also responsible for, uh, for absorption of calcium in the gut. Calcitriol is responsible for making the immune system stronger. At the same time, calcitriol is also responsible to regulate your mood. So all of these factors are controlled by calcitriol and calcitriol indirectly is vitamin D. And that's the reason vitamin D supplements are important. So, if you are someone who is, suffer from, who is suffering from pain, make sure to add vitamin D as in supplementation. If you don't know whether you are deficient in vitamin D or not, a simple blood test would be enough to go for. Your dietitian as well as your doctor would be helpful for you to combat these deficiencies. And thus will help you to get rid of the pains and aches. I hope you found this information helpful. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.